Is Dennis Schenberg here? Mr. Knox will see you now. Hi, my name's Aiden Knox. It's good to finally meet you, Jenna. Have a seat. So, today you're applying for the management position at Sabtech, correct? Yeah. I'm really hoping to take advantage of what this company offers professionally. Great. Glad to hear. Obviously, most companies don't do these face-to-face -face meetings, but we offer companies like Sabtech the option to interview the candidates they're interested in for some of the more qualified positions. It's a relatively new process. Did they tell you how it works when you filled out the app? Vaguely, but not enough to take a quiz over it or anything. Well, here at NetScreen, we interview people, so companies like Sabtech don't have to. And in addition to your standard background check, we offer our unique screening service, which can predict whether or not you'll be the most effective choice for the position at Sabtech. Okay, so what do you need from me? Well, nothing more than your cooperation in answering a few questions about some flagged instances from your screening. What do you mean, flagged? Well, there's no need to panic. We just need to clarify some things. During your screening, our system found a few instances in which clarification would optimize performance. It's standard procedure. Most people get flags. That's why Sabtech has sent you here. Did you experience any health issues at the time of or shortly after your birth? Uh, yeah. Kind of a weird question for a job application. Well, shortly after your birth, your mother posted a picture of you online. In it, you were laying inside of an incubator, meaning you could have had a life-threatening condition. Furthermore, it was captioned, and I quote, Beeb made it through the final round of treatment. Doc said we can go home tomorrow. Hashtag thankful, colon, in parentheses. What does this have to do with my app? It's necessary to assure a proper fit with your job. Life-threatening conditions at birth can sometimes, but not always, lead to a relapse later in life. Sabtech wants to know the likelihood of this happening, which could affect your productivity or potentially lead to a compensated furlough. <sighs> I was born prematurely, and shortly after, the doctors discovered I had respiratory distress syndrome. Basically, I had trouble breathing on my own. Growing up, you had a dog, correct? Yeah. A little terrier named Ace. On March 9th, 2022, your mother posted a picture of you holding the dog and her with a... chai latte. Caption, so toot, love seeing these two together after a stressful week. Hashtag treat yourself. What happened that week? Ace would do this thing sometimes where he would race through the door outside after a chipmunk. It must have been one of the times he got out. He always ran out as someone was going in. <sighs> okay, I forgot to close the door. I was a kid. Kids make mistakes. Okay, softball sectionals. Seems like a very trying time for you. However, it says Hamilton High won 12 to eight. So proud of my little Cap for doing what she does best. Well, you were the team captain. Yes, my junior year. Not senior year. No. While the results are impressive, Sabtech is interested in leaders who also inspire their workers. But that isn't even our main concern. Here's another caption from a snap Helen Marshall took of you at your school dance. Jenna, second baseman or rounding second base. <sighs> oh my God! I began dating Carly's ex three months after they broke up. This is ridiculous. They're just Carly's friends posting what the fuck ever online because no one gives a damn what they have to say. Why do my chances of getting this job rely on some flat-chested bitch's status updates? I didn't ask for my picture to be strewn across the internet, and I didn't even take these pictures you brought up. 
An outburst like this does not bode well on your screening. You appear adamant that what these girls said is not true. That will be noted. Okay. I think that's all we need from you today. If anything else comes up, we'll contact you. You should be hearing from Sabtech next Friday. Thanks for coming in. Sure. Ooh, I don't like that one. Do it again. There we go. There's some gluten-free chocolate chip cookies in the kitchen if you're hungry. No, I'm just exhausted. I don't even see why I had to go to this guy's office. Why couldn't we just Skype it? Right? I'm sure you did fine. They just need to make sure you're not trolling. Do you prefer Perpetua or Mayfair on Instagram? Does my face need one? Um, hashtag bye, bitch. Mom, you gotta stop hashtagging. It's fucking ancient. Okay, I'll start when you move that stuff onto the curb with the rest of the trash. it in one of Grandpa's boxes. <laughs> Hopefully you didn't find the rest of that girl's jean skirt. Ugh, talk about fashion disaster. Your grandfather was one of the biggest creeps, I swear. I remember one time we were at this bank and he wouldn't stop asking this poor bank teller about his life and chit-chatting like, can, can you not? So actually you're paying 10 cents for that <laughs> Oh God, would you look at that mullet? Remember that stuffed bear Pabal got you? I think it was made from that cashier's hair. Hold on, let me snap a pic. What is wrong with you? Sweetie, it's okay, it's just a video. <sighs> Oh, of course you'd say that. Why are you being so mean? I'm just kidding, sweetie. You don't have to act so negative. You know, I repinned this dog meme on Tumblr. It says, anger management. When angry with someone, it helps to sit down and think about the problem. <laughs> then it has this cute picture of a dog sitting on the other dog. <laughs> Isn't that adorbs? Do you even remember my seventh grade talent show? Of course. I'm sure I have pictures somewhere. Your entire life is filtered through that thing. Filter this.
sweetie? Sleep okay? Yeah. Look, about last night. Yeah? I shouldn't have acted the way I did. Oh, don't worry about it, babe. We're just being a kid. Kids make mistakes. Well, I've got some errands to run. I'll be gone for a little while. Let me know if you need something. Okay, bye. Need another? Don't go tell me twice. My daughter applied for her first real job yesterday. They grow up so fast, don't they? You got any kids? All right, lady, look. It's my last shift and I want to go home, and I don't want to get hit on by old women tonight. So, if you need another drink, let me know. But please just don't make it awkward. <laughs> 